MIS. Um, let's see, the total on MIS is $227,793. It's up 2%. You can see that there's fluctuations, both positive and negative there. I've been attempting <coughs> each year to get things on the proper lines as to where they are being spent. So it's only up 2%. Mm -hmm. um, which is a small number. We're going to eventually, we're grateful to the voters for the passing the IT Warren articles the last couple of years because mm -hmm. that's helping us to really improve the IT infrastructure here. And with the <coughs> increased cost of computers and licensing on computers, we haven't been able to absorb it all in our budget, but it's been part of that Warren article. So we're a little behind on our five year replacement of computers, but not too bad we're going to hopefully get caught up this year that's our goal um, so that we'll be back in line because that was one of the things when i became the finance director slash it and whatever else that had i might put on in the morning um our goal was to really improve it bring them into yeah. this year you know new website i mean i hope that people have seen some differences that we are making and then mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of differences behind the scene and those two guys uh, paul and dylan are great and do a great job Good. and Good. so hopefully we'll be able to keep moving forward with that. Okay. Any questions there? No. No, you can move on about when, the insurance. Yeah, I, oh. I, I do. Okay. The website's really nice. Thank you. It's really great and it's really working out really well. Yes. And there was a lot of complaints about that, weren't they, when, the, when you said you were doing it? There were complaints, yes, yeah. but it's come out very good. Good, I hope. It came out excellent, yeah. excellent, and it's very user friendly. Yeah, and it's it, you update it constantly. I think, which is really nice. The thing I have a question on is uh, staff development. Yes. Uh, Dylan and, and Paul do a great job. Uh, Paul and Dylan do a great job. Yes. Uh, are we spending enough on st st staff development? This we, year we, we have not. Um, last year we did, though. Um, I think. Well, as you can see, that last year we spent twenty five hundred. Mm. We this year we've just had so many projects going on, and with the default budget, we're more cautious as managers to make sure that we get done and have money, and we have to leave money somewhere in case someone else needs it. You know, it's right. all one big. It's a bottom yeah. line budget, and yeah. so I really have held back on IT this year. That's why. We're going to hopefully get our computers and stuff ordered now because mm -hmm. I, sitting where I sit, even though they're a small budget and I'm watching everyone else's budgets, that some of them I don't have any control over, but I just feel like yeah. you have to leave money somewhere for a little bit. So um, last year I can tell you that Paul went to either Texas or Arizona or something to a big, they call them Nerdvanas or nerd thing, <laughs> nerd events and stuff. And so he went there. Um, so... I think that we're doing a good job. I do touch base with them and pretty much let, allow them to do whatever they feel. You know, there's a Civic Plus one who has our website. Mm -hmm. I just asked Dylan the other day yeah. if he was interested in that. And he was like, no, I'm good for now and stuff. So I think that I would like to leave the money on that line. Um, we did lower it a little <coughs> bit to put it more in line with the averages. Yeah. But I do think that they, I hope that they think that they're, available to have them do what they would like to do for staff <coughs> development there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay, and 